Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore why NASA is turning off Voyager's instruments. Spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have traveled to places in space where no other human-made objects have gone before. But their lives will end soon. The engineers at the U.S. Space Agency, NASA, are turning off one instrument each on both spacecraft so that they continue with their job of space exploration. The Voyager program consists of two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched in 1977 to study the outer solar system and beyond. Currently, both are exploring uncharted territory in interstellar space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 reached interstellar space in 2012 and 2018 respectively. The two spacecraft have traveled a combined 29 billion miles to become the farthest human-built objects from Earth. The mission engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, deactivated Voyager 1's Cosmic Ray Subsystem Experiment. They will shut down the low-energy charged particle instrument on board Voyager 2. When they were launched weeks apart in 1977, the Voyager probes carried identical sets of 10 science instruments. The Voyager probes consist of a radioisotope power system and a nuclear battery that harnesses the heat of decaying plutonium to produce electricity. The system generated 470 watts of power at the time of launch, but as the plutonium degraded, that amount dropped. Over time, the probe's power supply has gradually diminished. The Voyager spacecraft rely on electricity generated from the heat of decaying plutonium, and both are losing an estimated 4 watts of power per year. The Voyagers have been deep space rock stars since launch, and we want to keep it that way as long as possible, said Suzanne Dodd, Voyager project manager at JPL, in a statement. But electrical power is running low. If we don't turn off an instrument on each Voyager now, they would probably have only a few more months of power before we would need to declare the end of the mission, the statement added. NASA officials have already expressed the agency's intention to have both Voyager spacecraft still in service by 2027 when they celebrate their 50th anniversary. The probes will be able to survive for another two years only by carefully controlling the dwindling power supply. Out of their 10 instruments, only three will be powered by the end of March due to recent cullings. By 2026, they will only have two instruments left. Linda Spilka, who is a Voyager project scientist at JPL, said, Every minute of every day, the Voyagers explore a region where no spacecraft has gone before. That also means every day could be our last. But that day could also bring another interstellar revelation. So we're pulling out all the stops, doing what we can to make sure Voyagers 1 and 2 continue their trailblazing for the maximum time possible. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.